What's going on guys, it's Nero from UK Mobile Review and in this video I'm going to give you a comparison between the two user interfaces of the Gear Fit and the Gear 2 Neo. So both devices actually run on the same OS, believe it or not. They don't look overly similar, but that's because of the different design of the Gear Fit. They both run on Samsung's new Tizen OS, which has been adapted specifically for their wearable range. It's quite funny that they announced these new devices, and then within a couple of weeks, Google announced Android Wear, which is the Android version of this, really. It's a wearable platform running Android, specifically designed towards wearable devices, which could mean that these become obsolete, but the latest rumours suggest Samsung's going to go for a two-pronged attach. We're going to see smart watches and smart devices running on both the Android Wear and the Tizen OS. There's going to, they're going to just have a massive range of wearable devices. So anyway, let's take a look at the two differences. You see that the Gear 2 Neo comes with the similar design and the squared shape that we saw with the original Gear and the Gear 2. And the Gear Fit is the world's first curved wearable because it has the world's first curved AMOLED display. And the Gear Fit has a much more elongated display, but as you'll see now, it's actually curved, so it's actually much nicer than the blocky look of the Gear Fit. Two different smartwatches for two different people, really. But as they run the same OS, let's look at the different limitations. You see that the Gear 2 Neo, you scroll left and right, and it's got four icons on the screen here. You can customise it so the home screen has the shortcuts, but the display is a 1.63 inch, I think. And then the Gear Fit, is entirely different. It has the world's first curved AMOLED display and it's more designed for people who want a band as opposed to a watch. The Gear Fit serves more of the purpose of challenging the likes of the Sony Smart Band, Nike Fuel Band and the Fitbit range, whereas the Gear 2 Neo is very much for the people who want a classic watch with the added benefits. With the Gear Fit, you look at, you're scrolling up and down here and you can see you've got three icons on the screen there. You can customise this, but the, the limitations are quite large thanks to this display. Whereas on the Gear 2 Neo, it's very much like Android. You've got the four dis icons on display there. If we scroll to the right here, you can go to apps. And now let's find one that's not on our home screen. So let's take email. Press and hold. Drag to the top. The home icon. And it automatically adds it there. And if you had a spare space on another screen, you can move it, or you can create a folder, or you can remove it. We're just gonna leave it where it was. So the limitations in terms of OS are quite large, but size-wise, the gear fits more likely to appeal to a lot of people. Just because it's slightly different, it looks a lot, it looks a lot more interesting at first glance. And yeah, that's a quick look at the user interface of bet differences between the Gear Fit and the Gear 2 Neo, plus some of my ramblings thrown in. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below. Until next time.